Hello YouTubers and welcome to another tutorial made easy by Windows 7 Basics. Today I'm going to be going over how to use the snipping tool. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this so I can show you. Uh, now the snipping tool is a, a, a tool that's going to basically capture anything on your screen. Whether it be your desktop, a uh, document, a picture, or even uh, anything from the internet that you would like to capture, you can with this tool. So let's get started. Uh, by the way, if you do not have this snipping tool with your version of Windows, I do not know exactly where to get it, but if you were to ask, I would not have a problem going ahead and searching the internet and finding it for you and giving you the link. Alright, so now let's get started. Go down to your start menu and left click and type in here, snipping tool, in the search bar. By the time you type it in, it should already be showing up and go up here to the top here it is and left click hold and drag and bring it down to your taskbar I like to do this because it's something that I use often so it's here whenever I need it now um, this is also good because a lot of um, a lot of websites that do profiles and stuff like that when you do your profile and they want you to upload your profile picture it does not allow you to upload a picture that is too big in size a certain amount of megabytes or anything like that and that's why I go ahead and uh, use the snipping tool a lot because it cuts down the size. Once you use the snipping tool and then save it, it automatically cuts the size down a great deal. As you can see here, the size now and after I use the snipping tool, 42,5 KB. That's a lot smaller. You can use that with any website. Some of these websites only allow you to use 100 KB. So uh, let me go ahead and, and try this one here. And what you're going to do is just left click here on the snipping tool. And it's simple enough. You take this X anywhere you want to start the box. This, the, wherever you start is going to be your top left corner, basically, or your top right corner. And, uh, yeah, just left click, hold, and then bring it over. You, as you can see, as long as you're holding, you can crop wherever you want to, and that's how you're going to save your picture. It also allows you to edit by using this pen tool here. Go to customize. We'll go to tools first. Pen over here to customize at the bottom here. And this is going to allow you to change the color to whatever you want for different highlighting and that kind of thing. The thickness of the pen. And uh, you can change this from that line to, to round. The line here is good for when you want to black something out as, as uh, let's say, for instance, a document with your name and your address on there that you have to send through the email to somebody, but you don't actually want your name and your address to be on there, or you want to sell a car and you want to black out the license plate. That's how you're going to do it there. You can get this eraser tool, very easy, and one click, left click, pretty much takes anything out from your last selection. Um, I would save this file right now to show you, but for some reason, this... Uh, Saving it is is conflicting. It's giving a problem with my uh, my screen capture program, so I'm, I can't do that right now. So, this is how you would save it. Just file, save as, and then here. But I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to close this down now. And uh, again, if you have any questions, just let me know. Leave a comment, and I'll be sure to get back to you as quick as possible. So thanks for watching another tutorial made easy by Windows 7 Basics.